have a look at part two. Again, again, it's intimidating, but there's a big clue. Uh, what is this stuff? What are these? It is a sequence. Uh, well, it's actually a series because you're actually adding up some things. But what is that? What is that notation? This, for example, that. This is binomial, isn't it? This is uh, another way of writing this. Do you feel that? This is a binomial coefficient. Now have a look, it's not just one binomial coefficient, you got a whole bunch of them. You go from zero all the way up until n. Why would you go all the way up until n? Well, let's think about it this way. If I gave you, uh, you know, one plus x cubed, right? The binomial coefficients that you're gonna get out of that from Pascal's triangle are gonna be n naught, and then n1, and then n2, and then you'll end with n3. Right? Where n actually happens to be 3 in this case. Right? 3, 3, 3, 3. Because of course you can't have 3C4, because like, how can you choose 4 objects out of 3 things? Okay? We have 3s all the way at the top and 3 at the end because, because the power is 3. The power is 3. Here, I've got n's up the top. A whole bunch of them. Why would I have n's up the top? Because I'm expanding something to the power of n. Yes? Okay. Now, where a lot of students sort of fell down is they felt like, and I hope you recognize this is something we need to overcome. You look at a question and you classify it and you think, oh, this is a question about that. But these are clearly linked, right? So you should see these n's and think, oh, I can treat this not like, I can't just turn this into from rectangular form into polar form. I can treat this as just a regular binomial expansion. It's just that that second thing happens to be imaginary, okay? So let's do that, right? Uh, this is part two. Consider. I considered this before and I did De Moivre's theorem on it, right? But now, I'm gonna do binomial theorem on it, okay? So what will the very first term be? N zero. N zero. I'm actually gonna write this on the next line. N zero. The next one's gonna be? And one, but now that I get to the next bit, an I comes along for the ride. Do you agree with that? I. And then N two, and I'm gonna have um, well, I'm gonna have two eyes, aren't I? I squared. Okay. Now, usually to establish a pattern, uh, three terms is enough, right? Like if you get three terms of an AP or a GP, you're like, I know everything about this now. Okay. For reasons that will become clear shortly, I'm gonna put a couple of extra terms on. Right. I'm gonna go N three. And and four. I think that'll be enough for me. Now, this is the first five terms. What's the last term? N, 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 I, yeah, very good. N N I to the power of N, whatever that happens to be. Okay, now I can do a little more work on this before I leave it and think about the other one. It's conjugate. Okay. Um, there's a whole bunch of I's here that can be cancelled out. Do you agree? Yeah. Right. Uh, these first two, they just kind of sit there. Right? But what about the next one? So yeah, I squared by definition is minus one, right? So uh, that's kind of cool. Now there's an I squared here as well, isn't there? So therefore it's minus, but there's still one I left over. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, then I get to this one. And that's just plus one, right? Do you see why I wrote a few extra terms now? Because usually three is enough to establish a pattern, but here the pattern takes longer. It goes, this, look at the signs, plus, plus, minus, minus, right? No i, i, no i, i, and so on, okay? The next one, what would the next one be? It's gonna be plus, if I were to write it down, I think it would be plus, plus n5 i, n5 i, right? Because there's actually five i's there, but four of them have just sort of collapsed into one. Dot, 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 plus. That. You okay with that? Okay. Now, there's actually one more thing I can do to this. There's one more thing I can do to this. N. What's N? Look at the question again. Yeah, N's not just anything. N is divisible by four. Four. One, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Right? And then one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And then eventually this guy is going to be one of the fourth ones, right? So what's going to happen to this? 
it's going to become just one, isn't it? Right? Because um, I to the, it could be 4, 8, or 12, or 16, whatever number of i's it's going to be, it will cancel out. So in fact, the last thing I can do on this line is, all of these guys are all the same, but I know that the very last term is going to be dot 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 n n. The reason why is because n is a multiple of four. I'm just running out of space. Don't mind me abbreviating. Okay? Did you notice that? 